Hi, I'm Michelangelo Lovelace. I'm an artist, a painter, uh, born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio. I continue to live and work in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm one of those people who say art saved my life, and it truly did. Uh, when I was a child, I always drew as an adolescent. When I got into my teenagehood, I always drew, but I drew just to kind of show people what I could do, nothing serious. And then as I got older, I got to be 19, I got in some trouble with the law and was asked, what could I do? And I told the judge, I could draw, I could do art. That was what I was good at. And he told me, well, you better do that or you next time you're in front of me, you're going to prison. The work I'm working on now, I work in series. I like to work in series where I do like, I take one ideal and I work it 20 times or 25 times. And I'm looking at my environment, I'm looking at the people in my life, I'm looking at the circumstances I deal with, I'm looking at the events that's going on, and from those circumstances, events, I'm creating art based on what's going on around me right here, right now. I got a painting called Welcome to the Party, and it's a painting that deals with friends and family getting together, and the viewpoint is a single figure person kind of looking at you and greeting you and telling you what the, through that look, through their eyes, welcome to the party. Bricks, when you see bricks in my work, it comes from my upbringing. I was, when I was a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, we lived in Garden Valley Housing Projects. When I was a 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20-year-old, till I was 28, I was living in the, the King Kennedy Projects or the Offway Projects or the Cedar Estate Projects. And the projects were a brick, and we called it Brick City. And so I fell in love with the brick in the, in the brick structure. So I put that brick structure in my work, wherever you see it, to represent the urban inner city. I can remember coming up as a young child being called the N-word and people ignoring me when I was trying to say it, tell them how I felt. And I remember telling somebody when I was younger, I wanted to be an artist. And they were telling me, you're just a fool. You ain't gonna be no artist because they didn't know no black artists. And art allows me to stay human. It allows me to have an opinion. It allows me to express myself. And through art, I feel alive. I feel like people are listening to me and, and appreciating what I have to say and what I feel. So that's how I stay human. I use art as my vehicle to stay alive. Woo! <laughs> I practiced that. I, I knew you were going to ask me that question. I've been at least 10 hours. <laughs> 